Yeah, I want to talk about invasive species. There's a, a quite a misunderstanding on what that actually means, for me anyways. So let's say you're in Iceland and you bring in lupin plants. And it ends up taking over the entire island, okay? So you're the botany, botanist responsible for bringing in this plant. It's not native, doesn't belong there, but it did a fantastic job in getting the soil ready with nitrogen to plant, start planting forests. It had an effect on some birds and some other animals, but overall the effect of the lupin on Iceland was fantastic and made it possible to start this reforestation of all these desert deserts that they had on their island. So the botanist would have had the information how lupin reproduce. And what I mean by that is, okay, so the seed head sends out on average 7,500 seeds. So compared to a plant that sends out 30 seeds per seed head or per plant, that number is quite high. So the botanist would have known from the get-go that this plant is incredibly invasive due to the genetic makeup or the reproductive system of that plant. So we have many plants in this garden that are more or less invasive or they're prolific, however you want to call it. This little geranium here has this real ability to send out runners everywhere. So what does that mean? It might be a, a, a local plant, it might not be uh, an invasive species, but genetically it has the ability to, the same with these wild strawberries that are here, to send out runners and to expand their territory. So the invasiveness is genetically inside the plant already. So it already is an invasive plant. It is not because I've moved it from A to B, it is because the plant starts out as a plant capable of reproducing at enormous pace and enormous numbers. So it depends on the mechanical built-in mechanism of a plant if it is invasive or not. So another example is you have plants that you're trying to weed out, you break off the head, and the root system remains and sends out new life. That is a mechanical built-in mechanism making that plant very prolific and very hard to get rid of. All I'm getting at is, especially in plant materials, location has less to do with the invasiveness of a plant compared to its genetic ability or its reproductive system that is part of the species of that plant. It is built into that variety or that species to be incredibly pro prolific or not to be incredibly prolific. Sending out rhizomes, having a huge amount of seeds on the, on the flowers, having the ability to travel with the air, having the ability to be delicious for animals, having the ability to just basically stay where it is and to spread rapidly around the mother plant. All those things are genetically built into the plant itself. The invasiveness is the plant's ability to reproduce, not so much the, lo the location uh, of where it ends up growing. So the botanists know in advance how invasive a plant is. It's not a mystery. It is well known how many seeds are on a flower head. It is well known, is this plant, uh, does it propagate through rhizomes? Does the plant propagate through wind pollinate, wind transfer? All this information is given to anyone who's bringing another plant to another area. So what I'm getting at is the invasiveness is known. It is not a mystery. It's like you listen to all these people talking about, you know, oh, this, uh, this vine was brought in, Coats of Vine was brought in to fix the highway problem with uh, soil erosion and all this stuff. Those people knew in advance how prolific those vines were or 
how many seed heads are going to be traveling through the wind and getting into new locations. That knowledge is not a mystery. So when somebody talks to me about something that is, uh, that is invasive, it already is known beforehand how invasive a certain species is. It is knowledge, it is not a mystery. And uh, so I think in, in, in the relationship to plant life, the invasiveness isn't a mystery. The invasiveness is how the plant reproduces. It's reproductive energy is what makes it invasive, not, it, not the location where it ends up.